Hi, my name is John Carruthers. I'm here today to show you how to string your Stratocaster. I've been working on guitars for the last 45 years and I've worked with most of the major manufacturers. If you'd like to learn in more detail about the procedures used in today's videos, you can get a copy of my book on Alfred Publishing, Teach Yourself Guitar Repair and Maintenance. First step, if you are just kind of uh, new at this, would be probably just to do one string at a time. If you do all the strings at once, it makes it much harder to get it back into uh, adjustment and also uh, into proper pitch. If you just loosen down one string and take one off and then put another one on and then tune it back to pitch before you move on to the next, it'll be much easier for you. If you have a lot of experience, then it's possible to, you know, loosen all the strings down, clip them, and then put the whole set on and then restring it a little faster. So you can just uh, sort of be the judge yourself as to what you think would be the best way for your circumstance. So I'm going to start off by just removing the lowest string here and then we'll put a new one on and show you that procedure. So step one, it's always good to loosen the string down a little bit so it doesn't have a lot of tension on it because when you cut it you don't want the string snapping back and maybe possibly causing you injury. So we carefully trim the loose end and then we can take and slip this end of the string out of the bridge. And we just throw that in the trash. And then we'll take the other end and do the same thing. Now we take our new set of strings. And so we need what is called the E or six string. Normally the strings are numbered from one on the high side to six on the low side. So you notice these strings are individually packaged and they have the number of the gauge of the string on and the lowest one is the 49 gauge and that's the one we're going to put on. So we take it out of the pack. You always want to be careful when I'm winding them so it doesn't spring out and hit you somewhere. Anyways, we'll take the loose end now and we're going to put it in through the hole in the back of the body here, slip it into place. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to leave some slack because we want to get some turns around the post, but we, didn't, we don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to insert this through the hole in the tuning machine. And I'm going to take up most of the slack. Now I'm going to use my index finger to gauge how much slack we need. So I use my first finger to hold the string in place and my index finger to gauge the amount of slack. Now I take the loose end that we have and I take it towards the headstock and I go under the string that's there. So I'm going to go very slow so you can see how it works. Then I pull up all the slack, and as I pull up the slack, when it's tight, I pull up both directions on the string that I have in my right hand and on the part that I have in my left hand. Then I'm going to bend the string so it actually becomes kinked. Now what will happen is I'm going to hold the string close to where the tuner is, and I'm going to wind the turns on. As I wind the turns, you notice it's, there's a U here now that's being pinched by the string that's being wound on, and that actually has the effect of locking the string so that it won't unwind. The most common tuning problem on most guitars is that the strings are not put on properly. And by doing this little step, it makes it so that the string locks in. Now I'm going to listen to the rest of the strings and I'm going to tune it up to pitch. Now I can take my side cutters and I can try and trim as close as possible to the tuner so there's not a lot of end sticking out because you don't want anything sharp to either tear up your case or to injure you if you should actually brush against it. So once we've trimmed off the end and we're tuned up to pitch, what we can very carefully do is walk up and down the string like this and that will take the stretch out of the string. Notice it dropped in pitch. We'll do it again. Now after you've done it a few times, it should get to where it doesn't go out of pitch anymore. Notice it was better that time than the time before. So we'll do it one more time. You notice now it's locked in, the pitch is the same. Now I'm actually gonna deliberately really try to throw the string out of tune. Notice it dropped just a little bit. You notice now it stays in tune. Now I'm gonna do the next string over, I'm just gonna tug on it, it hasn't been locked properly, so listen to this. Now watch when I pull on it. You hear how much your guitar has gone out of tune. So you can see how important it is to lock the string. Once you lock it, it will stay in pitch and won't go out of tune. Whereas if you don't, every time you pull on the string, 
it will slip. You hear the whole guitar is now out of tune just because the string is unwound some off the tuning machine. <laughs> 